Hey guys, Danny, Reddick, Retique, whatever you want to call me. Um, I haven't been here in a while making videos. Um, had some family issues, so I've kind of been away and I haven't been uploading, but I'm going to make a video of my toolbox because I think it's going to be simple and easy, like one take kind of thing. So. This is my setup. Um, full time, kind of more part time right now, but pretty much been working on sobs and about 80% of what I work on. But it's a, a roll cabinet, you kind of move, cart, you call it, but it got really heavy. And I have my other US General that I'm going to bring here um, today and sort some of this stuff like these that I don't need and try and make this a little bit more portable because it's portable now, but it's really heavy. Um, this is how I organize my sockets. Um, there's some stuff in here that I need that I don't have, like brake cal caliper compressed tools, which I'm getting today, which is why I have no more space in here. Um, I'll just do a quick run through, um, but yeah, I borrow from like coworkers um, boxes certain stuff that I don't have um, that I kind of neglected to buy. See, like I'm running out of space, kind of stacking stuff up. And then all the stuff down here and then I have this which pretty much just holds all the drawers pretty much just have clamps and vice grips and then these are all my Mac and Maco and some gear wrench and the Harbor Freight um, press tool all right back to my toolbox tour um, I just finished uh, organizing it I reorganized the thing a hundred million times. Um, at US General, I'm gonna put a Snap-on logo there and there, like I did with that one. Um, they actually make this in Blue Point, so you would never know, but let's get through the quick organization here. So, I put this magnet up here now to hold like some razor blades um, and a couple other little things. Um, magnets for, um, magnets. Jeez, trying to hurry up and I'm taking more time. Uh, some electrical tape up here. So I reorganized my sockets and um, labeled them. So now I have um, 24 all the way down to nine millimeter with no skips, a gear wrench set I bought as a whole. And it also came with a couple bigger sizes that are back here an adapter, a couple impact half inch extensions, half inch wobbles, all on that one earnest rail. Um, and all my sockets that are metric go from big to small. And then um, American set is, this is the only American set I have in here, quarter inch um, from small to big. And then everything else like big to small. So, um, I got cobalt 14 to 4 deep, 6 point, 6 point, cobalt um, 14 to 4. And I want the gear wrench wobble quarter inch, so I'll have this as quarter inch. And then stuff that I use very often for brake jobs on sobs, T30, um, a 7 mil Allen, and a 5 mil, um, mostly for taking the, the pins out and taking the um, screws out of the rotor. And then those are for hose clamps or whatever else I may need the American sockets for. Um, more adapters. Um, and then 
um, quarter inch T30 to T10, E-Torx uh, 24 to 10, some Phillips and um, flathead, and then quarter inch and 3 eighths wobbles. And then I have Mako wrench set. This is 12 point here. I want to get rid of these and put a gear wrench set of deep six points here because I don't use 12 points so I want them in that box. So then I had to buy some gear wrench six points to fill this set in here which is more cobalt um, 3 8 and then I have Sun X 19 or 10 sorry 10 to 19 crow's foot um, big extension, a couple magnetic and small screwdrivers, uh, my Mako ratchet, flex head, Mako straight, snap on, quarter inch, my one of my favorite, um, swivel, excuse me, quarter inch Pittsburgh, a couple other crappy ones, and then this really nice Mac um, locking uh, ratchet, a straight breaker bar, Snap on, zero offset. Come on. Zero offset box end, double box end wrench set. Um, it goes from 10, I started labeling them, 10 all the way up to 20. So I put some of the labels, these labels came with the earnest rail set on the numbers so I put them on this rack um, to mark stuff with a little like chalk marker a marker for my to-do list up here which I don't really use um, my extra battery um, terminal cleaner snap-on big small long panel plier like panel clip tools uh, bit driver Two Pittsburgh long screwdrivers, which are now stuck. Two crap screwdrivers for like beating up on stuff. Um, this drawer is pretty much never gonna change, at least for now. I feel like this is probably the best organization I have of like my extensions, three eighths, uh, quarter inch long, and um, anything quarter inch. And then this is quarter inch three eighths, like really long stuff. Well, this is just any quarter inch. This is the long and then this is all half inch caps and stuff to fill holes and even sometimes when I take disconnect the battery put a cap on the battery like that um, specialty stuff that's common to sobs and little stuff um, some more specialty stuff some tape um, mechanics wire fuel disconnect lines um, a punch some change with some Blue Loctite. Next drawer, which I just organized today, um, I have all my air hammer bits um, for when I'm moving around with the cart. I'll have whatever bits I need, picks and stuff to clean. Like if I do a wheel bearing, I knock the wheel bearing out, then I clean it out. Um, some, if I'm doing door panels or any other type of tool, these are the bits. Uh, Harbor Freight stuff, perfectly good. Airbag tool for sob. Um, for sobs, 9-3, a uh, big sharpie, um, just finished organizing this, I wish I could fit another wrench set in here, if this box was a little bigger I would try and fit, um, I would like to fit this extra long flank drive, like I swear to god I never remember the name of this drive for wrenches, um, I also want to get the Sun X set to go from 20 to like almost 30 to to get a big wrench set because my biggest wrench is a 20 closed end and then the 19 here. Um, so I, 19, I have 19 straight Matco extra long ratchets, non-reversible, um, from 8 to 19, no skips, and then I have this set of um, angle, like reversible um, ratcheting wrenches, which 
I feel like these are kind of the best ratcheting wrenches to get. I don't care for these style too much. I like to have the the res reversible. So 72 tooth. Um, Non-flank drive um, wrenches, so Mako Mako, Sun X, Stubby, Met all this is all in metric, obviously. This whole drawer right here, metric. Pretty much all my tools are metric because that's mostly what I work on. Is um, box end, um, wrenches here, and then this set I just got from eight. 19 Mac wrenches. These were very expensive. They're reversible. They have the offset. They're six point with. I don't know if you can see that. You kind of see the different color. It's flank drive, V groove, stubby wrenches in one kit. Like, I saw that and I said I had to have it. Like these probably got to be some of the best stubby ratcheting wrenches that there are. And then I have this set which everybody has here always is uh, the Monster um, Specialty Drive. Specialty Drive. Um, Reversible, flex head, double box end wrenches. And that's um, 19 to 8. Um, I think it skips 11. Um, these are really nice. I also put the tags um, on them, just like the other set up here, so that it's all super organized. That's the wrenches that I have. And then all my pliers pretty much, like hose, blue point hose pliers, um, Pittsburgh extra long needle nose pliers, cobalt Pittsburgh, random Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, cobalt, uh, random, and then more cobalt, some like, Mac straight wire crimpers, 90 degree wire crimpers I got off like Snap-on truck or Mac truck. This was off like a Snap-on or Mac truck, Mac uh, Snap-on or Maco, um, like hose pliers, um, some vice grips I put in here, and a couple box end wrenches, and then tray of random bolts and stuff. Uh, my two Harbor Freight lights, my bigger magnet, two lights, brake clean, carb clean and stuff I usually put there, cleaners, stuff that I use when I do a brake job. Um, my hood light, breaker bar, hood light from Mako, it's a monster I bought off the truck. Um, I don't care about it too much. It's a Pittsburgh breaker bar, and a Mako hood prop, uh, earmuffs. I already showed Aircat half inch high torque. Aircat half inch high torque. Mako high super duper long barrel. Um, oh, there's the hood prop. I'm still trying to, I'm cleaning up the bottom here since I cleaned up the top. Um, air and my pry bars. So this is the cart. Um, pretty much what I have planned is for this right now to hold everything that I don't normally use and this to be to go anywhere, work on whatever around the car. Like I don't want to have to travel back and forth obviously so I'm trying to get super organized and super necessities in here and trying to lighten this up because before what I had was this was my main and my only box so this was stuffed to move this around it was heavy 
and I also had all my wrenches up here. It was heavy to pick this up. It started really becoming like a solid, like non-movable toolbox. So now this has a crappy set that I like rarely use of cobalt um, wrenches, the flank drive, um, especially extra long Maco ones, cutters, see so like uh, oil filter wrench. That was in my box. I didn't need it in my box because usually you're like you're right here. You don't need it in the back of the car. So if I move this around, I don't need that little bit of extra weight, stuff like this. These were in the box with all my hammers, which I forgot to show you, which um, this drawer was pretty packed. So now I just have my extra long like ratchet, regular hammer set, um, tie rod puller, um, and a chisel set, and some rubber and dead blow hammers, two and four pounds, I believe. So I took some of the rent, ratch, ratchets that I don't really use, that I don't really care about, and threw them in here. And like Allen's, you never really use those. I don't normally use them. And then just like Pittsburgh um, stuff, some measuring tools, some Maco um, boot gauges or whatever, and um, spark plug gauge, some kind of specialty small stuff. Um, stuff that you don't normally use all the time or that doesn't need to be brought around the back of the car all the time like these Usually for pinching off hoses mostly like cool and hoses sometimes brake lines But I'd rather have it in here and try and lighten that up even though they're plastic So like all these vice grips don't need to be in there if I can't if I need a more special device grip or something Maybe a little smaller. I'll have it in here like these. I didn't need in my cart this was all in my cart, except for those. I just got those. Extra long gear wrench, um, eight piece, um, uh, picks. I'm like trying to rush and I can't think. The macro filter, like I said, oil filter, you're putting it here. You don't need it in the cart. These are impact max sockets. I'm thinking about putting them in there, but I already have some torques that I use mostly. So this will be like if something's really stuck and I need an impact, I'll grab these. My gear wrench set, you can see I took sockets out of here to fit it, um, to fit it in there, um, to fit in that box and get them out of here. Um, this was in that drawer but I realized that I wanted these screwdrivers as specialty like nice like stuff like precision screwdrivers I didn't want to beat on these I didn't want to bend these and break these like because it was a $200 set but I bought on sale for a hundred but they're really nice and I want to keep them nice and that's why I have other screwdriver sets or I could use a bit instead um, of using these like I will use them sometimes for a little bit of prying, but I try and keep them nice. Um, paint markers. So this is the socket set and my multimeter from Fluke. So I have the Fluke 115 True RMS meter. Um, I haven't used it too much. I used to use other people's meters in the shop instead. So now I have my own. So like this drawer is my socket drawer of stuff I don't need. So 12 point um, 3 eighths, half inch, 3 eighths metric, both metric sets, 12 point. Here's some half inch, like stuff that I don't normally, I don't normally have to use these um, big sockets, these half inch chrome six points. So here are some more half inch um, um, well, my idea was to have all the 12 points point up so I can see the 12 point and whatever six point is on a nice fancy rail like this pointed down like I have here. All my 12, all the six points are just pointed down on the rail and I could see them, see the numbers nice and easy. So 
So I just have all the sockets here, American stuff I don't normally use, but I'm probably going to have to use on my Mustang soon. Um, so quarter inch shallows, but I don't really use these, so um, spark plug sockets, I don't need them in the cart. Um, so I already went through all these, a bunch of stuff, uh, extractors, brake line, um, driver set, all this stuff used to be stuffed into my cart. So, now it's not.